So we're going to taste some uh, Chardonnay. We're going to taste some Chardonnay. This was just stirred this morning. Okay. So you're going to find it has a slightly uh, creamy character to it that you're going to actually get some true flavors uh, in, in this state. Kind of a cloudy. Yes, it's not. It's cloudy. Uh, I actually like letting my wine stay uh, cloudy for quite some time, just prior to bottling. Mm -hmm. uh, wines actually like to not be overworked. I uh, let the wine make itself. Mm -hmm. During the winter time, we just let the wines just go to sleep. Would that be why, for example, you said you stir once a month and some others yeah. stir weekly because you yeah. just don't want to mess with it that much? Don't, don't overwork it. Right. So when you're pulling Chardonnay oh, you out of a bed, and be woken up. Right <laughs> <now>? <laughs> when when you're pulling Chardonnay out of a barrel at this stage of the game, mm -hmm. um, what are you paying attention to as far as do you do that with white wine to pay attention to how it's developing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, I take. I, we actually have a lotted field, uh, which Randy brings in that he mm -hmm. maintains. That is the Jack planted in the early '80s. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice plum and really produces some really high quality wine. That is always hands down our barrel fermented Chardonnay. But when you do try other wines, you can obviously, even at a juice stage, you taste the juice out of the pan. That'll tell you at that point what the complexity is just by the mouthfeel, whether that should be warrant a barrel or not. Okay. Okay, so. So as you notice, off the bat, you're already getting some green apple just on the mm -hmm. nose. Sure. And it's not overly oaked, but you got some vanilla notes on top. And this has a long way to go. Uh, generally, I would like to take it to the extent of 18 months in the barrel, mm -hmm. even if it's brand new. What happens with an oak barrel, the oak during fermentation will go up to about 90 to 100 degrees. So it's actually creating a tea bag effect extracting the oak into the wine. As it ages, it becomes a marriage where the oak blends in with the wine and actually the oak dissipates uh, from the wine, actually goes back into the barrel again. We have evaporation through a barrel. We have to top these barrels every month mm -hmm. uh, just because the barrel breathes. Make them oxidize then. Right. 